Whenever I go to the skate park, I usually stick in my own little area, which is the street skating area, you know, like the ledges, the rails, the manual pads, the stairs, all of that stuff. One thing I never touch is the transition, but I had an idea to skate the A-frame because I was just, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, I should probably skate that. I never skate that. I don't really have very many tricks on the A-frame. I have, they, like, it, it just kind of like, you know, it kind of freaks me out. I don't like uh, going up this way and then landing, going this way and just shooting my board out. Um, I would prefer to keep my, to, you know, keep it flat and figure, you know, from one flat ground to another flat ground or just keep it flat or like a like a rail that goes kind of down or something like that or a hubba or a, just uh, A-frames never really interest me but uh, I decided that I should probably venture out a little bit and get better at my uh, transition stuff but I don't even know if A-frames count as transition they probably don't and also I, I just I suck at A-frame skating so I decided to go skate the A-frame and at the Colony Skate Park obviously because I don't skate anywhere else so I had a list of tricks I wanted to do. First, I wanted to do the warm-up stuff, so like some ollies, 180s, shove -its. And then I'm going to move on to doing three kickflip variations. And I went for kickflip, backside flip, hard flip, and then I went for two heel flip variations, which was a heel flip and a varial heel flip. Not a whole lot, and they're not super hard either, but I don't skate this kind of obstacle ever, so. They were hard for me, okay? Stop judging me. Anyway, I started off with the basic tricks. It was, uh, you know, just some 180s and shevets, and then I moved on to the kickflip, which were all relatively easy. And then I moved on to the backside flip, and I tried, 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 and I tried. And I, tried. I could not do it. So, I was going to move on to the next one, which was hard flip. And I tried that one, and I tried, and I tried, and then I got it. And that one was surprisingly easy, especially because backside flips are easier for me to do than hard flips. Like, hard flips are not very hard for me, but they, they whenever I'm warming up, they take me a few tries to get down. So, like, I don't know why it happened so quickly. I decided to keep going. I did the heel flip, I think, next. That one was pretty easy because it's just, you know, a heel flip. I don't like heel flips because I always primo on them for no reason, but it was relatively quick because they're they're just annoying because I primo a lot. That's, I can't not do them. I just, uh, I just don't like them. After the heel flip, I decided to go back to the backside flip, and for some whatever reason, it just clicked, and then I did it. And now for the hard, the trick that I knew was already going to be hard, like I can do varial heels, just I don't do them very much. Same thing with the heel flip. Just slightly, I'm just slightly less good at them. I know I can do it, so I went for it. And I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried. I could not seem to get it out one either. But then I tried again, and then again, and I tried again, and then again, and then I got it. But there was a little hand touch on the on that one, so I tried it again. Uh, but I had one try left because it was starting to sprinkle and I didn't want my camera to get wet so I gave myself one more try and if I landed it, I landed it, if I didn't, I didn't. And I kind of stuck it and then got thrown off. So that was the end of that. So mission successful and I'm going to go back and try to get a better varial heel on there uh, whenever it's not raining, not raining right now but I have stuff I need to go do. Whenever I go skate again, I'll try it again. Click on this video or this video and go enjoy that one. I'll see you later.